what's up so right now i'm gonna be doing a video that i've always wanted to film because i am very intrigued by zodiac signs i'm personally a libra and today i'm gonna be living like a libra should according to the internet so what libras prefer to do what they like the colors they like the makeup they like the hairstyles they like the food they like the starbucks order they like and even clothes libras like talking about clothes this video i partnered with hollister on so i will be showcasing one of the jeans in this video so yes let's get into trying all the things that libras like i'll be definitely putting it to the test i'm not even sure if i'm gonna like all these things or if i'm gonna prefer some of these things um but first up is showering or bathing or like taking a bath bathing is both but like bath or shower so I found this little article thingy it's not even an article but it says the signs as baths versus showers so people who like taking baths Aries Sagittor Sagittarius I don't know why but that's what sign is really hard to pronounce Sagittarius Sag Sagittarius Sagittarius I don't know okay whatever sorry People who like taking showers are Cancers, Libras, and I'm a Libra, so I like taking showers, supposedly. I actually, I do love taking showers. I'm not the biggest bath person. I only take baths when I'm sick, so, so far, the internet is correct. So right now, I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna wash my hair, then once we get out of the shower, I'm gonna be styling my hair the way that most Libras style their hair and like their hair, which is really weird because it's very, very similar to what I do with my hair. Um, honestly, I don't know, like, there's a lot of opinions on, like, zodiac signs. Um, I feel like people may attack me because I'm not super educated in it, but I'm just putting these internet, like, zodiac sign facts to the test. So yeah. Let's go shower. <laughs> About to take my shower as Libras do. Ooh. Shower complete. I would agree, Libras do love showers. There's nothing like showering. I was just singing Old McDonald. Oh my God. What has quarantine done to me? So now going on into the like the styling portion of the hair. Um, okay, this is very interesting to me because this is exactly what I normally do. So like that definitely says something. They are known for having a smile that can light up the entire room. Their hair tends to be very glossy with some natural waves and curls. I find that very interesting because that's exactly how I normally style my hair. Usually first off, I spray something to make my hair glossy and also so my hair is easier to brush out. I use this brush. Ew, this is so gross. I've literally cleaned this brush recently too. Uh, uh. Okay, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit more because it's still very wet before I style it. So right now we're gonna drive to a Starbucks drive-thru. Also, the reason why we're gonna go to a Starbucks is I searched up Starbucks orders based on your zodiac sign. It says, here's what your Starbucks drink is based on your sign according to Starbucks. So we have a little wheel here. Um, we have a pink drink for Aries. Uh, then, for me, I've actually never had this before. Flat white with signature espresso. I literally got no clue what that is. My guess is like a flat white cream. I don't really know. Anyways, we're gonna go to Starbucks and order it and see if I like it because according to Starbucks, that should be my favorite drink or my go-to drink. Okay, so something interesting, I was looking up like rappers that were Libras, um, Lil Wayne, Eminem, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky, oh my gosh, <laughs> whenever I think of ASAP now, I just think of, I'd be that pretty mother man, <laughs> I don't know why, it just like stuck in my head, um, anyways, so yes, I'm gonna listen to Lil Wayne, Eminem, and ASAP Rocky, um, on the car right up to Starbucks. So, <laughs> thought I would share. I actually do love all these artists, so maybe they're onto something, but I also love so many other artists that aren't like Libras. But anyways, I thought I would listen to Libra artists because, you know, it's a Zodiac sign video. Anyways, okay, I'm ready for my Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> what can I get start for you? Um, can I get one? A uh, flat white with signature espresso. Like forget, like our just regular espresso. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. What size do you want that? Uh, can I get a grande, please? She like knew what it was, but I've never heard of that. Let me know if you get that because I've literally never heard of that coffee or drink. I don't even know. Um, anyways, I also got a cake pop because I've never had a cake pop before, and a lemon cake pop cake pop sounded so good. Hi, so the people in front of you actually paid for your order. Oh my god! Yeah. Actually, oh my god, okay, I'll pay for the person behind me. Okay, it's gonna be $7.90. Oh so it's my. 90 cents more than before. Oh my god, wait, that's so Oh my god, yeah, I love when people do that because everyone just pays it forward. Oh, oh my god. That's so cute. We're gonna try this. Wait, what the heck is it called? Flat white special shot or something? What? What's it called? I don't even know what this is. As I go and take another sip. Yeah, no, that's really bad. I also do not like Starbucks coffee. Sorry, that was not good. I take a fat pass. Do not listen to the Starbucks Zodiac sign order. That was horrible. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna try the lemon cake pop. It's brand new. Oh my God. This is so good. Okay, so it is now time to add more defined curls in my like wavy hair right now because that is the Libra style. I cannot get over that coffee, honestly. I'm kind of sad because I really wanted to like, I wanted, I wanted some quality like coffee or like a drink, but no, but no. Anyways, um, I'm gonna curl my hair. Okay, so we have the hair done. My hair is nice and naturally curled and wavy as most Libras like it. Now going into makeup, how I found this video is I just searched Libra makeup tutorial on YouTube. Tutorial? I just said that so fast, oh my god. Libra makeup tutorial and this popped up. It was the first thing that popped up. So we're gonna be following this beauty routine, this Libra makeup routine. So first off, she is using a primer. I'm gonna be using the Frilliance primer. I'm just gonna put like two pumps on my hand and work this into my skin. Uh, then she's using a facial mist, I believe. Is that a facial mist? I think that's a, yeah, it's a facial mist. Okay, I just blended that into my skin. Gonna spray a facial mist. This is the Frilliance facial mist. What is that? I think that's foundation. Yeah, whoa, okay, that's a lot of foundation. I will use foundation because she is using it. I never really use foundation, um, but I do have one that I really do love. This is the Tarte uh, face face tape oh my god face tape i have it in the shade uh light neutral foundation is done now she's using a concealer she's using a lot more makeup than i normally do like i usually do super natural makeup okay now she is using a really like thick powder and powdering her whole face i like never do that i never powder my whole face i just like that like glowy look Oh my god, okay, let me let me go grab something. Taking like a good amount, like a lot. Oh my god, okay. Ready? One, two, oh my god, why am I so scared? Okay. I don't think I've really ever powdered my whole face. I've probably had makeup artists do it on me, but I have never personally powdered my whole face. Okay, now she's putting white eyeshadow on her eyeballs. Okay, I gotta find some white eyeshadow. Okay, so she's just taking her white shadow and putting it all over her eyelid. Okay, I'm kind of using like a creamish color um, because I don't really have like a bright white shadow, but my guess is this is like the base for like a bright color. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I, I wasn't. Um, but anyways, I just put a, a shadow right on my lid. Interesting, oh my God, no, that's all we're doing for eyeshadow? Oh my god, okay. She's putting mascara on right now. Okay, okay. I got this. It doesn't even look that bad. Okay, so I have the mascara on. I messed up a little bit on the mascara. I got it on my eyelid, but I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll brush it off. Um, but anyways, let's see. Let's see what's next. <sighs> I don't know how to put eyelashes on. Okay, let me, let me go grab some lashes and some lash glue and try to put them on. Okay, well, haha, <laughs> ha ha, ho ho. I'm gonna put the other one on because there's no really going back now. Okay, so I have the lashes on. 
kind of feeling I actually kind of like am vibing with it like now that I have them on I like it anyways okay, now going in with blush she's going in pretty dang heavy so I'm gonna just do I'm gonna not do as much as her because personally there's already so much going on and I usually like if the eyes are bold I keep the face super simple and if like the face is bold like there's a lot of blush going on I'll keep the eyes super simple um so I'm just gonna do this whoa okay um okay I'm gonna just draw my freckles on because I d would not use that technique personally um okay I'm gonna draw some freckles on I use a brow whiz so whatever like your brow color is is like close to your freckle color or at least for me it is um but I'm just gonna kind of draw some freckles on I actually kind of like it I do okay so she put nude lips and a lip gloss on so I'm gonna do that real quick so this is the Libra makeup look I feel like this is kind of very me like I love blue blue is my favorite color which is extremely interesting because because just just wait a minute <laughs> I actually, I don't love any kind of blue. I love light blue. And guess what? A Libra's favorite color is, aha, blue. Especially light blue. That is the um, the look and Libra's favorite color. So it makes sense, it makes sense. Now it is time to get dressed and get on with a few activities that we're gonna be doing that Libra's supposedly like. I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay, here's a few things when you search up clothing Libras like. This is like the first thing that pops up. A Libra likes to be comfortable yet sexy. So if you see a Libra wearing jeans, you know they will be tight. Accompanied by a beautiful floral print blouse or shirt with heels or wedges. She loves wearing simple yet sparkly jewelry. Okay, I would agree with some of that. Like, I do love jeans, and most of the time they are tight-fitting jeans, but I would never wear a flower print anything, actually. Maybe. Um, I doubt it, though. I'm a very, like, darker person. Like, I don't like super floral things or pink things. I will be giving it a shot. The only thing I will not be doing is wearing heels because the activity I'm going to be doing, I cannot wear heels doing. Um, but I am going to be wearing tight-fitting jeans, and I will also be wearing, like, a floral-ish printed shirt. Um, but it's more of, like, my kind of floral. You know what I mean? So, first thing I'm going to be grabbing when I think of tight-fitting jeans, is my Hollister jeans. <laughs> These jeans are called the Curvy High-Rise Jean Leggings. These are incredibly comfortable. They're high-rise, which I love. I don't know, I feel like I, I, wanna, I wanna talk about Hollister for just a split second. I have always worn Hollister jeans. I've worn like other clothing from Hollister, but always their jeans. Their jeans are like my favorite thing. They always fit me like perfectly. There's so many different sizes. There's like a hundred different styles. And they're affordable, which is like almost impossible to find. Like, if you go on like other websites, you'll find like jeans that are like a hundred to two hundred dollars, and I'm not about to spend that. And I'm not just saying this because this video is partnered with Hollister. I'm saying it because I've always been a fan and I was super honored when they contacted me. I actually did a photo shoot with them. I'm in some of their stores. Like, there's like a little poster of me, which is super cool. Um, so, yes. Anyways, I'm gonna change into these jeans real quick so I can show you how they look. But we also need to pick out a floral top. Let's do that. I have this right here. So it's a floral tube top. I feel like that would work. I know it's cold out, so most likely I'm gonna have to wear a jacket. So this is the outfit that we have going right now. Next up, we're gonna um, we're gonna figure out what activity we're gonna be doing. Okay, so uh, best hobbies for Libras for activities. This is I find interesting because I don't think this aligns with me whatsoever. Instead of like a bike ride or a motorcycle ride in the country, they prefer more something more relaxing like painting, hiking, backpacking. They enjoy having fun as long as it's not too much work. Um, I do not like hiking or backpacking or painting. Or maybe I do like painting. That is something that I don't know. So, therefore, okay, actually, you know what? I did love art class. So, I'm going to go buy a, um, a canvas and some paint. The reason I said that I couldn't wear heels or wedges is because, um, also I got cold so I put a sweatshirt on, um, but is because I thought I was going to be biking because I read the, like, the article wrong. I thought I was going to be biking. So I actually am going to wear heels. Oh god. I'm a sneaker girl. Can you see that? Like, I love my sneakers. 
Okay, so this is the fit. These are the heels. Oh my lord, these hurt so badly. Like, I don't walk cute when I wear heels. Like, I feel like a lot of girls can walk cute. I can't. Um, I decided to put on this sweater because it is cold out and I don't want to, like, be cold during this time. Um, but yes. Okay, so I'm at Target. I'm gonna get my snacks that I need and then I'm gonna get some painting supplies. I also realized that like there's gonna be a lot of people in Target and this is gonna be a bit of an Ako Taco situation. I'm gonna hide myself. Oh my God, I literally am like full glammed right now. But I'm at least wearing a sweatshirt, so that's good. Uh, okay. So Target is currently out of stock of all canvases. So therefore I may have to get like paper and paint on paper okay so this is like the only thing i could find that oh wait no this wouldn't even work this is so thin also i'm limping i hate heels the one thing is definitely not my thing that libras i guess like or heels those are not my not my thing i'm also getting stared at a lot which is understandable but yeah ow i'm in pain Okay, so I'm back from Target. I washed my hands. I sprayed my like whole body with like hand sanit- not like the spray hand sanitizer. The spray. What am I doing? The spray hand sanitizer. Quick little interruption. So I decided not to get any paint stuff because like there wasn't really anything that was good. Um, so instead of painting, I will be cooking. So yeah, leading into that. Going crazy. Ha ha. Hoo <laughs> hoo. It's currently 1 a.m. and I'm editing. I am literally starving. I've only had like a cake, a blah, 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 a cape, oh my god, a cake pop today. So I'm gonna make myself vegan mac. Let me just share how weird this is. Okay, wait, let me grab my phone. So there's this article on like what Libras eat or like what they should eat and like what they avoid normally. And I found this so interesting. Um, because this is like exactly how I eat. So they eat a lot of whole grains, oats, apples, grapes, strawberries, raisins. Ugh, I do hate raisins. That's one thing I do hate. Ugh. Um, steamed vegetables, spinach, tomatoes, peas, carrots, corn, non-dairy cheeses, vegan yogurts, nuts, and almonds. That is so accurate to what I normally eat. So then it links for air signs, which Libra, Libra, oh my God. Libra is an air sign. I found um, recipes. So the first one is the one I choose. It's called Mac and Stew. Um, it is a vegan mac and cheese. It looks so good and I've been wanting mac and cheese for so, like my mouth, literally watering. I'm not even kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook this. And the spices. My mom is really helping me right now because I don't know how to like cook for the life of me. Um, so we have uh, diced onions right here. Then we have the soaking cashews, which is gonna make it creamy because we're not putting dairy in it. Then we're gonna saute some garlic and onion right here. Then the pasta is boiling currently. So we have the biggest bowl of freaking pasta with the sauce. Honestly, this is so good. Like, incredible. Yummy, time to cook. Ooh la la. Okay, yeah, sure, it does not look like mac and cheese out of the box. It just, it looks amazing. It looks, oh my God, I'm so excited. That was honestly some of the best vegan mac and cheese I've ever had. I really wanna peel off my lashes. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Oh, ow, oh. I'm gonna lay in bed for like a split second. I am literally falling asleep. I am so tired. So I am gonna settle down with a movie that Libras are supposed to like. I searched up Zodiac, Zodiac Signs favorite movies. It says I would enjoy some classic chick flick, um, like My Best Friend's Wedding and Clueless. So I actually have never watched Clueless which everyone I feel like is gonna attack me for because I know it's a very popular movie that like every girl has watched, but I have not watched it. Um, and then My Best Friend's Wedding. I think I'm gonna watch My Best Friend's Met Wedding because I don't know, I wanna watch that. So I'm gonna go buy it on something or if it's on Netflix. Here we go. 
my best friend's wedding. I have no idea if this is any good, but my mom said it's a it's a classic movie. So, yes. Fire movie. Fire. Okay, so I finished the movie. The movie was really good. It was a little corny, but it was really good. I would highly recommend it. Um Honestly, I'm genuinely surprised. I feel like I am very much a Libra. Like, there's certain little things that I disagree with. Like, I don't like wearing heels. I don't like painting. But I do love makeup, and that is an art. So, like, something, it's similar. And I don't wear, like, fake eyelashes normally. But for the most part, honestly, this video is very accurate. And, like, everything was pretty on point. So, yes, thank you so much, Hollister, for partnering with me on this video. Thank you for watching. I love you so, so much. Also, please subscribe. I'm almost at a million subscribers. But, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Mwah. I love you. Bye.